Welcome to this simple guide on using Dylon dies. Now these little dies can revolutionise your home and your clothes and they're so easy to use. This film is about hand dies. Now these are perfect for dyeing smaller items. They're also great for wool and silk for crafts such as tie dyeing. Now the three things that are going to really affect the way your dye works out are the type of fabric, the colour of fabric and the weight of fabric. So let's first consider the type of fabric that you use. Now cotton, linen and viscose will all give fantastic results. So something like this, which is 100% pure cotton, will give absolutely great results. Now remember, fabrics that are mixed with synthetic, such as acrylic or polyester, will give lighter results. Remember as well that wool and silk will also give lighter results and pure synthetic fabrics cannot be dyed. So now let's consider the weight of the fabric. Now each packet of hand dye will dye up to 250 grams in weight of fabric. So that's approximately two items of clothing, say two t-shirts. So I've got here two t-shirts, pop them in, 250 grams, and that will come out to the shade shown on the back of the packet. So finally, let's think about the colour of your fabric and you've got to remember the colour mixing rules. So for example, I've used this blue dye on this red t-shirt and we've got this fantastic purple result. And remember that if you're dyeing over patterns, they may still show through. And this is how simple it is. The first thing to do is check the weight of your fabric and just wash it in the usual way I've just washed these through. Put on some rubber gloves and then dissolve the contents of your dye into a pint or 500 millilitres of warm tap water and then take a bowl and you'll need six litres of again warm tap water and you're going to add 250 grams of normal table salt to that and just give it a, a stir round. Then you need to pop your dye solution into your salt solution and again give that a little stir and make sure it's all thoroughly mixed up. So then take your damp items, ready to be dyed, into your solution and just work them through for around about 15 minutes. Make sure you get into the seams. And then you need to repeat this process every now and again for around about 45 minutes. Once you've done that, rinse your items until the water runs clear and then just wash them in the normal way. And it really is as easy as that. Now, just wait till you see these fantastic results. Look at this. A brand new lease of life has been given to this cardigan. It's just simply stunning, isn't it? Now, these hand dyes are permanent, but remember, just as you would with any new clothes, wash separately for the first few washes. So, to recap, check the item suitable and consider the colour and the weight. Pre-wash the item, add salt to the dye bath, Dissolve the dye powder and add to the dye bath. Dye the item and wash with your usual detergent. And that really is it. Welcome to a whole new world of colour for your home and your clothes. And now you've started, there really is no end. Why not try dyeing a scarf to give a new lease of life to an outfit? Or try adding a splash of colour to a tired cardigan to give it a fresh look? Or even try tie-dyeing a summer t-shirt for a great summer look. So I really do hope that you feel inspired to give dyeing a go.